Hello, and today I'm going to show you how to downgrade from uh, Windows 10 down to Windows 8.1. Uh, I recently just upgraded my laptop to Windows 10 today, and I just don't like it that much. So we're going to fix that problem easily. So what you want to do is you'll want to go into start. I was able to do the start screen like in Windows 8.1. Then you'll want to type in start up. If you see right here, change advanced startup options. And this, you'll want to go right here, go back to Windows 8.1. Now keep in mind that this option is only available for a month after you upgrade to Windows 10. So I just did it today, so I'm going to do it right now, thankfully. Um, now it's asking me if, uh, why, why we're going back. You know, I, I'm just going to do this one. Windows 8.1 seemed easier to use. Next. Tells me if, tells me not to unplug my PC. I will lose my changes to the upgrade and may reinstall some programs. And it tells me not to get locked out. Thanks for trying Windows 10. What a shame. Now go back to Windows 8.1. Now it's restarting. Thank God they made it simple for us. Terrible shame I didn't like it. Okay, so right now it's saying restoring your previous version of Windows. Thank God. And it's taking its time. Okay, so finally, the machine is rebooting. It took forever for that to get done, which kind of sucked. So I'm doing this off of actual hardware. Keep in mind that I'm doing this on a Toshiba laptop with an AMD A8 quad-core processor. All right. So, um, it's a shame that you only have a month to downgrade and go back to Windows 8.1 because I think it should be a year long alongside with the free upgrade to Windows 10. So right now it's taking its time.
And there you go. You officially have Windows 8.1 back. I apologize for the frequent um, cuts in between. But um, the parts just took forever. So right now it's opening up Windows Update. And it now says you're set to automatically check for updates. So I guess that's all there is to it. They made it simple for us, and that's about it.